All right, boys, welcome back to another episode of Why Does My Streamer Recording Look Like a PowerPoint Presentation? Today, we're gonna be fixing OBS, also known as the program that somehow takes your $2,000 computer and makes it look mm -hmm. like it's running off of a Chromebook. If your game looks crispy, but your stream runs like you're playing underwater, that's OBS. If you know that your mic is fine, <laughs> but on your stream, it sounds like you're trapped in a toaster, that's OBS. So yeah, let's make it not do that. I'm gonna show you guys the best OBS settings and that way you can have a lag-free, crispy stream or recording. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Of course, the first thing you need to do is open up OBS. Obviously, I'm using OBS to record, so you're gonna have to kind of ignore the inception going on right now. The first thing you're gonna wanna do though is click settings in the bottom right. I'm just gonna expand it so it kind of covers up the inception. But we're gonna start from the bottom up. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is click advance, and then right where it says video here, change the color range from limited to full. It won't let me do it right now, obviously, since I'm recording, but color range, set that to full. Scroll down here and uncheck the enable browser source hardware acceleration. It'll prompt you to restart OBS, so click Yes, after that's restarted. Once you're done with that, we're done with the advanced tab. Go ahead and go to video. Whatever your base canvas resolution is, you wanna also set your output scaled resolution to that. You don't wanna be scaling your resolution at all. Scaling your resolution is gonna butcher the quality. There are ways to minimize the blurriness when scaling, but regardless, there's no way to save it completely. So whatever you're recording in, whether that's 1080p, 1440p, or even 4K, set your output scaled resolution to that. If your main goal is just input, reducing your input delay, and you also want your stream to look really good, I recommend recording your streaming in 1080p and then you have your output scaled resolution to 1080p too. Because of this, we'll have no downscale filter. So there's nothing you need to change on this. Your common FPS value, always just set that to 60. Then go ahead and go over to output. So for your video encoder, you're gonna wanna use your GPU. It won't let me change it right now, but I have it set on the recording. It says NVIDIA NVEC H264. So set that for your streaming one if you are streaming. Your bitrate control does leave on CBR and bitrate, what we're gonna do is change this to 6,000. Once you're done with that, you're pretty much good. Go to recording. If you're missing the settings here I have, you need to come up here to the top and change it to advanced mode. Your video encoder, Encoder. Of course, same thing, use your GPU. I'd recommend recording in MP4. Then for your encoder settings, you wanna use a constant bitrate, and I'd recommend 16,000 for recordings. For preset, set the best quality, tuning, high quality, multi-pass mode, we just want two passes, quarter resolution, profile high, and, and then leave everything else default like this. Now, if you guys are using replay buffer to set clips, all you'll do is enable this, set it to 20 seconds, and then it's gonna automatically use your recording settings. So if you guys are using replay buffer, just come in here and check the box. I'd recommend 20 or 30 seconds for your clips. Then go back to recording, it's actually going to use all these settings for your replay buffer settings as well. So you're good to go. And for you guys who don't know what replay buffer is, this is basically clips, but for OBS. That way you don't have to use shadow play. This is probably the best way to do clip. There are settings in here to stop and start replay buffer in here as well. So you can set hotkeys for this. Other than that though, guys, you're pretty much good to go. All you need to do next is restart OBS, then come over to add display, create your display capture, click OK. Capture method, just leave an automatic display. Obviously set the monitor you want to record from and then click OK. And then now your settings are good to record or stream. Of course, if you are streaming, remember to link the platform you're streaming from to your OBS. And that way, when you click start streaming, it'll actually go somewhere. Other than that, though, guys, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. My channel is usually about optimizations. Check out my other videos if you want to learn how to tweak your computer for maximum performance. If you guys want me to take care of everything for you, click on optimization on my website, signs.net, where I'll take care of everything for you. Also, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Other than that, though, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.